to my Scorpio, Scorpio's happy first quarter moon phase. That's right. This video is for the 15th of May through the 15th of June. You may be watching this video on the 14th of May. So we're in the first quarter moon phase. It's officially the first quarter moon date is the 15th. So, but we're in the phase. So first quarter moon phase is all about putting some action behind your intention. So how are you blooming? How are you blossoming this, this cycle? Now that the rose colored glasses have been removed, the only planet that's currently retrograde is uh, Pluto, which is one of your ruling planets, the outermost planet. It's the planet of death, rebirth. It's the planet of, it's a regenerative planet. So how are you coming out better, a better you um, in this cycle, right? Uh, let's see. It's also the planet of metamorphosis. It's the planet of, uh, what did I say? Death, rebirth. Yeah, so how does the rebirth you? Are you still grieving and mourning something now that the rose-colored glasses have been removed? Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's go. I already prayed over your cards. We're going to try to keep it short and sweet. This video, again, is for the 15th of May through the 15th of June. This is a general reading. Take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below in the description. Uh, and that's it. Let's go. La Luna. That's right. La Luna. We have uh, Five of Cups, Princess of Swords, Three of Swords. We have Queen of Pentacles and also the Ace of Pentacles. La Luna. Uh-huh. You're, le you're leaving that um, something having to do with your family, you know, like not believing in, in you or, you know, not necessarily believing in how the way you, you're creating your life, right? We're talking about water. We're talking about creativity. Um, um, and then also this, uh, this, uh, you know, this crab and this also this tortoise, like every time you try to come out of your crab shell and talk about how you wanted to create the life that you wanted to create the, the relationships, you know, that you wanted to have, whether whoever you wanted to create a life with doesn't really matter because water symbolizes intuition it symbolizes so let's say somebody didn't believe in your spiritual gift so let's say you wanted to live an alternative lifestyle and somebody didn't believe in that or let's say you wanted to paint rocks for a living or you wanted to sing or dance or create a clothing line somebody didn't believe in it you know so whatever whatever it was somebody didn't believe in what you wanted to do um, something in your family. So between the ages of eight years old and 14, you know how sometimes, you know, when kids are saying, Hey, when I grow up, I want to be dot, dot, dot. And somebody says, Oh, don't you want to be such and such, you know, instead. So, um, here we have the princess of swords. So somebody is now at, at your adult age, deciding not to grieve over something and decide to push through. Somebody's coming out of the book of lamentations and deciding to move on from the depth of disappointment that you may have had and adjust your crown. Here's the princess, I mean, the queen of pentacles. And um, go where you're appreciated. This crab shell right here, somebody's learning how to come out of their crab shell as an adult and just starting to appreciate the life that you're creating for yourselves. Here we also have the ace of pentacles here. And so some kind of partnership is trying to come through. You, you, you're going to feel a lot more accomplished when you are in spaces where you can thrive. Water. This right here, we're talking about, this is a, a water sign here, the I believe sign. Um, and it's also connected to wisdom. It's also connected to, you know, your emotions, your intuitions, your feelings, your subconscious habits, your moods, your instincts, your need for your spirit to be fed. So please, 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 no matter what your sun sign is, I know cross watchers are watching as well. No matter what your sun sign is, find out what your moon sign is and then go to, and, and I, we do have a link for birth charts below, but find out what your moon sign is. Go to Google and type in how to nurture moon in whatever your moon sign is, man, woman, or however you identify and start that process of nurturing yourself. So when you feel like your moods are getting low, you starting to feel unhappy or sad or, you know, this, this weekend was a, um, was a pretty sensitive weekend for a lot of people. And um, the moon is moving from Cancer into Leo. And so the moon was in Cancer. Cancer is ruled by the moon. And so it's a super sensitive weekend for a lot of people. And uh, so if you're feeling like, you know, some of your colleagues may be a little moody or uh, maybe 
some of your friends are a bit standoffish or maybe you feel like your water is low. That could be the reason why you're, you're feeling a little, you know, maybe you need some extra, you know, extra nurturing. And so that's one way to do it, you know, as well. So um, it always, uh, you know, just empowering yourself with information and just how to nurture yourself always helps. That's one thing. And then two, uh, moving into the moon in Leo, uh, when the moon moves into Leo, just knowing that your vulnerability is actually your strength, right? So um, so you don't come across as a person who is draining everybody else around you, right? So this is what you're moving towards, the king of pentacles, which is the wealthiest card in the deck. Here's also the four of pentacles as well. So there's going to be a lot of people who are left outside of you, um, you know, earning your wealth all as a, as a, as a, as it relates to just, you know, you, um, there's going to be a lot of people left outside of your vault door because the more and more you start planting some new seeds and leaving people out who didn't believe in you, who didn't believe in how you create your life. Um, a lot of them are family members, quite frankly, where you just didn't feel like, you know, when you tried to bring things up, they tried to extinguish your dreams. They didn't want to believe in who you wanted to date or, or your friend, your friendship circle, how you wanted to create. Again, only take what resonates with you. If you have a great supportive family, obviously I am not talking to you, but there's a lot of people who, you know, it's like, you know, it's, it's painful to go around, you know, even loved ones for some people because they're still comparing you to siblings and cousins and other family members who they're doting over and you're still trying to find your way for some people, you know, still trying to, you can't bring certain people home because they don't approve of who you want to bring home. They don't approve of your chosen career path or whatever. And so sources say, regardless of who your family accepts or doesn't accept or who they don't believe in, this is the I believe sign, who they believe that you should choose or don't or career or whatever, sources still will make you rich. <laughs> so it don't make a difference. So you want to, so you want to, you want to learn how to nurture yourself regardless, because eventually they're going to come around. Eventually going to come around and just say, you know, sometimes, you know, like you got to recognize that some people's love language is like, you just got to show them better than you can tell them. And that's what source is trying to tell somebody is like, you just gonna have to show people better than you can tell them. But for right now, you're going to have to leave people out of your business. That's just what it's going to really boil down to. You just going to leave people out of your business. Because I feel like some people could be still posting stuff on social media, trying to show your family, okay, yeah, I can do it. You know, I, you see, you, I'm making you proud. And people are still, you got certain family members still looking at you with them beady eyes, still judging. Like, because they're not living their lives. They, if, if people who are operating in their purpose, they are rooting other people on that's operating in their purpose, whatever it is. Even if you decide to paint rocks for a living and sell it online, they right there saying, nah, I believe in you. I believe you dreaming big. I'm right there with you. I'm supporting you. Where could I buy? Are you, you posting your stuff online? How can I support you? So here we have the two of swords. Here we have the three of cups, the knight of cups, the death card. Here we have the hangman and also the nine of cups, right? So here we have the two of swords here. So take the blindfolds off. Source needs you to take the blindfolds off because right now it makes you come across as hostile you know, to the people that's in your life right now, because you're replaying something over and over and over again. And somebody may not realize that, that, you know, again, we're talking about emotions. We're talking about quality of relationships, friendships, how you're creating your life, your lives, your intuition, all of those things. Here we have the hangman. So source is saying, hang in there with yourselves, right? You know, somebody is allowing themselves to get too overwhelmed by what family believes. That's what it really boils down to. Here we have the Knight of Cups. And the only person that can save you is you. So while you're sitting around waiting on, while somebody's sitting around waiting on something to happen, allowing your water to just evaporate, overthinking things and putting so much time into what, you know, family members would could be thinking and, and having these Kundalini experiences, having these awakening sources say your wishes are coming true. This is how you pour into yourself, pull your birth chart, find out what your moon sign is. Also, don't forget your Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N. We do have links for that below, right? But that, that past is over. That old you of, this is the death card, right? Connected to Scorpio. It's just a, it's a setup. It's a trap to, you know, hang on to 
other people's belief systems and not believe in yourself. It's a setup. It's just a it's a setup. Too many people walking around here miserable now. Uh, look, I mean, look at some of your colleagues. They miserable. They hate their job. They hate going into the job every single day, but they have the job because they're too busy trying to please other people. And they making your life miserable because they hate their jobs. They do. Don't be one of them, right? So create the life that you want for yourselves. So, um, so yeah, how are you blossoming and blooming during this cycle? How are you creating the life that you want for yourself? You don't have any competition. It's you versus you. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. So here are the questions for the moon and Leo for those of you all who like questions. First question is, do you connect to your core, comma, your center daily? Second question is, how do you express your creative side? Third question is, is your current wardrobe really expressing who you are? Fourth question is, do you protect your energy and time by politely saying no to um, requests and invitations that are not aligned to your being? And then last but not least is, could you create more time and space for self-exploration and self-expression? Yeah. Here we have the Magician card. That's how you're going to take your power back. The Death card. Here we have the Sun card. Here we have the Three of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, so we have the Death card coming out twice here. Death card coming out twice here. We also have the Magician card. And then also the Sun card. So somebody's getting some uh, messages coming through loud and clear that you feel powerless when you go back to, you know, just feeling so overwhelmed, you know, by thing, by holding on. It, it just, you somebody's invested so much of their time when you, you feel out of balance, right? This is about healthy work-life balance right here. Two of pentacles, a healthy work-life balance. It's never just about money. It could never be just about money. Pentacles is money, is wealth, is generosity, is health, you know? So if you're, un, if you're not healthy, because of what other people think, what's the use? You can have all the money in the world, but if your health is completely, just totally failing, you know, because you're brokenhearted and deeply disappointed. Three of Swords. Swords are saying there's two types of situations from the past that you're trying to leave behind, and that's what I see that somebody's doing. Something has just been really, really overwhelming for you. Here we have the um, Ace of Wands here, and your third eye is now open third eye is now open it's time to leave some people outside your vault door that's just it that's just on period this is time to leave some people outside your vault door they don't need to know everything anyway they don't they need they don't need to know what's going on i feel like it's i feel like it's um you and somebody are planting some new seeds you know you're down to earth you're relatable it's time to really buckle down looking at your cars here you got 24 hours in a day if you're measuring time and deciding, you know, how you're using that, those 24 hours in a day. None of it should be spent on people who don't believe in you. Absolutely none of it. If I tell you something as simple as I want to bake cookies for a living and you say, why would you want to do that? In, in a, in a, I'm not going to support you kind of way or you look, you turn your nose up at it. That's the last thing I'm going to tell you that I'm going to do. You're just going to have to see when that, when that cookie line take off. Oh my God, I didn't know that you baked cookies. Yes, yes, you did, because I told you. Stop playing yourselves. Somebody needs to stop playing themselves. Start believing in yourselves. Stop playing games. Yeah, so we're starting out in the cards with water here. We're starting out with water. So um, the only person that can save you is you. It's the only person that can save you is you. Yeah, so we got five, night, which is four, and then three, and seven. So somebody is like real tempted to go back to... See, if I'm, somebody feels like either you got away with something or you feel like they got away with something. And so remember you're ruled by Pluto, which is not only the death, rebirth, you know, power transformation. It's also the metamorphosis planet, regenerative planet, but it's also the planet of obsession. And so sources are saying you can choose to obsess over the past and continue mourning and grieving the past. Or you could put a manhole cover over the past and say, you know what? It's time for me to believe in me. And it's time for me to leave some, some, some relationships or some energies behind. And, and there's two types of situations behind. And I need, and it's time for me to go for it. It's time for me to go for it. It's time for me to, to, to cut some energies out. It's time for me to turn off the water faucet and, and start believing in myself. 
start pouring into myself. Moon sign, <laughs> moon sign, how to nurture whatever your moon sign is. There it is right there and start doing it. Knight of Wands, Hierophant card, Emperor card, King of Wands, Knight, uh, Ten of Pentacles, and also the Knight of Cups. Yeah, Knight of Wands right here. Yeah, put some fire behind you. Put some fire. Somebody need to put some fire up under them. But somebody is being quite stubborn here. When you have an innate spiritual understanding of things. And so the dark side of the Hierophant card is materialist, you know, being materialistic or being connected to materialism, right? You know, a person who's just like, I'm just looking at the physical. I just got to be connected to the physical. Okay. If you have the Ten of Pentacles here, it's time to leave some people on the outside of your, your vault door for real. Okay. We also have the Emperor card. This is an energy that is disorganized, stern, and inflexible. Time to leave some people on the outside and get busy. Here we have King of Wands. You have too many great ideas. And um, here we have Knight of Cups again. That's the only way you're going to save yourself from two types of energies. That's the only way you're going to save yourself is put some fire up under yourself. You can't stop people who doubt you. These are, you, get, you got some people who doubt you. They're, gonna, they're doubting your greatness. And sources is saying that it's not, up, it's not up to them. They're not your God because these are the energies that want to be your God. They are dead set on you proving them wrong. You don't have anything to prove to them because they're not your God. Even if you did make it, they would say, oh, yeah, you must be running some kind of scam or scheme or something you doing. You know, <laughs> Boy, if people just knew for real, like focus on you, focus on you, focus on you, focus on you, focus on you. These people don't matter, whoever these people are. Somebody's been spending way too much time. Here we have the um, Seven of Pentacles twice. This is where I definitely see somebody planting some seeds of discernment, wisdom, knowledge. It's harvest time, both in your personal and your professional life, for you and somebody getting together. Getting together. You and somebody coming together, building a very rich legacy together. And um, somebody's going to have to move on from some kind of disappointment. Something where somebody was disappointed in something. Somebody's going to have to move on. Create the change. There it is. Create the change that you want. Create the change that you want. You have the gift of premonition. That's some kind of forewarning. Yeah, moving. Move in silence and in peace. But don't look back. They have not been completely honest. Somebody hasn't been completely honest with you. Listen to your inner voice. Take a leap of faith. See, people who aren't, they're not completely honest with themselves. So straight, just back straight and walk away. Your well of joy is within. Put yourselves first. Yep. Yeah. Um, so you're healing from the pain that some energies cause. Always bet on you. They're in a crisis. Mm, okay. It's time to expand your brand. Trust your first mind. Yeah, you're dealing with an incubus spirit. Um, your new home awaits. You're going to have to leave a whole bunch of people in the dust. For real. You're just going to have to leave some people in the dust. Forget that. This is your time. I don't know who I'm talking to, Scorpio, but for real, it is your time. Leave them stubborn, bullheaded people in the in the, in the the dust. People who, you know, you, they, don't, they, gotta, they gotta see people's wealth to believe it. They don't believe in anybody else because they sitting back too lazy to work. Let me just, let's keep it on the throne. Bottom line is, Bottom line is sources already has all this wealth planned for you. Let's just let's keep it on the throne. They're not even they really not even worth you even wasting your energy. Here we have affirmations for kindness. I am full of loving kindness. I am full of goodwill toward those around me. I am surrounded by warmth. I embrace all wholehearted kindness. I'm grateful for generosity shared by others. My smile could make someone's day. I allow the kindness in my heart to run free. Yeah. Source is really trying to get somebody to be a divine masculine energy because we all embody both divine masculine and divine feminine energy. So that you, that old you, you know, what you in Aries have in common is the tower card, right? That fire, right? So source is saying what I'm trying to pull out of you is structure and authority, like to be assertive, right? And so when you're the one, if you, but the difference is, is that they are cardinal sign and you all are fixed sign. Source is saying there's levels to it. It's about frequency, not necessarily 
who's bad or whatever your definition of bad or good or whatever the case may be because you can get along great with an aries or not get along great with the aries you can get along great with another uh scorpio or not or pisces or whatever sign aries taurus whatever it don't really matter source is saying to you i'm trying to get you in this space like for instance hierophant card is taurus ruled by um venus i'm trying to get you in a life where you a life that you love and you're absolutely pleased with a life where you are creating a more peaceful life for yourself a life that um where things that the things that you prayed for come to you you want a very wealthy life somebody's going to have to learn how to discern those vain and vengeful spirits where it's all it's only about when they'll do anything you know for the energy of money anything that's what source is trying to get somebody to do and the only way you're going to do that is operating in your purpose that's the only way you're going to do that is operating in your purpose because otherwise you won't be able to see it you won't be able to discern if you're if you're and our purpose overarching purpose is to be better human beings like sharpen our in your case water right make sure your water is clear um and so that you you have and so to become a better human being like look up the word purpose in the dictionary but the bottom line is trust the timing of your life i keep trying to tell everybody karmic relationships and ties are being broken this year they're being broken whether people are ready for them to be broken or not this is the year of wealth and again, this is not just money wealth. We're talking about better health. If people wanted, people prayed for this to come. Last year was the year of awakening. That was the year of seven, completion. All those tower moments everybody had last year. This is the year. We're, we're ha almost halfway into the year. And Source is like, okay, how are you blossoming and blooming? Rele let Source start breaking these relationships up. And be grateful that Source is removed. So that you can start moving differently. Moving in silence. <laughs> Your family don't believe or, you know, whoever's like family, blood relatives, not blood relatives, whatever. They don't believe. They don't have to believe. Let's source show them. Kindness and clarity. I am clear on my purpose. I'm here for a reason. I am worthy. I am valuable. I own my truth. I am moving forward in the right direction. I know exactly what I need to do. I take action towards the things that matter. All right. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. 28, I am a leader. So in an effort to accomplish great things, you recognize the value of working with others. You make a capable and compassionate leader who can bring people together and drive a team towards achievement. That's it. Go for it. It's go time. It's go time. Forget the distractions. Uh, let's see. Last card. Yep. That's the last card. Um, and that's what I have for you. I will see you all in the next reading. Yeah. But like I said, it's two types of situation from the past. Just leave it behind for real. Just leave it behind. It, it's over. It's a wrap. It's done. It's you've been overwhelmed by it. You know, um, don't allow somebody else to help cause you to be stubborn like okay i gotta be bullheaded i'm on the same frequency as them no leave these energies outside of your vault door and start planting some new seeds like investing in yourselves that's what i have for you i'll see you all on the next reading bye